Bugala bugala fu fu klau tobu kana fa li chi bao ku tu 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 or is it li chi pa ka chi? I can never remember that part. Maybe uh, lo bao ta chi ki bao li. No, no, but it's lo bao ta something. <sighs> is this chanting ever going to work? What is it going to take to get into contact with a powerful juju spirit from another world? <coughs> it worked! Uh, hello? Can you hear me? You do not speak, but I see that you listen. You look so strange. Your clothes, a power stick you hold in your hand. I have never seen a juju like you before. And what is this magic box you watch me on? It is clearly the most important thing in your hut. You do me great honor to watch me on it. My name is Jabalba. I am the powerful shaman of the great and legendary Pupanuno people. For generations we have... Hey! Hey, quiet out there! I'm talking to a juju! Tech, would you shut those people up? This is important! And get Warrior Lock! I want to introduce him to this juju here! I am so sorry, oh strange and powerful juju. There's a lot going on today. That's why I've called upon you for your help. Let me explain. Throughout the history of the Pupanunu people, Shaman, like myself, have known that someday something terrible would happen to our great protector, the Moon Juju. So said the Pupanunu people's prophecy. The Moon Juju is our shield against evil and the source of my Juju power. She is strong and nice and oh, so beautiful. Oh! That's Tlaylock. He's not nice, and he's sure not beautiful. He's jealous, and practices bad juju. At the council that chose the new High Shaman, he was passed over in favor of me. So last night, Tlaylock decided to take his revenge. Tlaylock crept into the Temple of the Moon with his foul servants, pins and needles, and stole the Moonstones, the source of the Moon Juju's power. The first thing Tlaylock did was to use the Moonstones to change the Pupanuno people into stupid, helpless sheep. Without the Moon Juju, my power was only enough to protect a few. And this is only the beginning of Tlaylock's <laughs> terrible plan. But Tlaylock is a fool. He won't get away with it. For the Pupanuno people's prophecy clearly says a mighty warrior trained by the High Shaman will defeat Tlaylock and save the Moon Juju. I have trained such a warrior. His name is Locke. <laughs> Tech, what are you doing? You told me to go get Locke. Yes, that's right. Go fetch Locke, stop playing with the sheep. I did get Locke. No, you fetched a dirty, stinky animal. That's Locke. See, he's wearing Locke's amulet. Tlaylock must have changed him into a sheep. No, 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 this is all wrong. This isn't in the, the poop, 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 poop. Poop a new new. Poop a new new, people's prophecy. The mighty warrior doesn't become a sheep. The mighty warrior doesn't lick my foot. Stop the licking, Locke. Oh, this is terrible. Can't we just change him back? I don't know. Yes, I've got it. We can change Locke back into a mighty warrior. This great juju spirit who watches us from another world can help. 
Follow Tack. Protect him with your power. Go with Tack to the ancient burial ground of our ancestors and put the teeth into the statues. And get me some magical Nubu plants while you're out. Now go! Both of you! Locke must stop Tlilak before he destroys the moon goddess! Hello, Tack. My name's Flora. The Moon Juju sent me here to hang out with you and help you whenever I can. Well, it's a long road ahead. We better get started. You seem smart enough to figure this out on your own, but you move yourself around by using the move stick, and if you need to jump, it's as simple as pressing the jump button. You can press the jump button twice to perform a double jump. Hey, don't laugh. I like to think of myself as thorough. Oh, I just thought of something else important to tell you. Sometimes you'll notice that the camera's not facing the same direction you want to go. You can use the camera stick to rotate the camera around yourself. If the camera isn't looking in the direction you want, just use the camera stick to rotate it until you see what you need to see. Rotate the camera now to look at me. Great! Now you can do this anytime you need to look at something. Simple enough. most animals to be helpful in some way or another. If you come across an animal, you should experiment with it to learn how it can help you. Some animals can even be ridden. Oh yes, the mighty rhino. These fellows are great for breaking things into little tiny pieces. Go ahead and jump on board. If you want him to speed up, try giving him a swat with your club. Adventuring, you'll no doubt discover you can pick up certain items. What's cool is that you can throw any item you pick up by just using the action button. If you're tired of carrying an object around and just want to set it down, press the use button. If you're holding something when you grab a ledge, you'll always drop that item. You'll also drop it if you fall off tall ledges. You see this little guy? He's a loop tail monkey and quite mischievous, I might add. Monkeys like this one love throwing coconuts at other animals. Hey, Tack, try throwing the melon at the monkey to see what happens. Did you notice that if you toss something at him, he'll toss a coconut at whoever's closest to him? Keep this in mind while you're adventuring. That 
feathers are very valuable. Make sure you pick up any feathers you see. To pick up a feather, just run through it. There are different kinds of feathers you can find in the world. These yellow feathers are health feathers. See how they look like the feather on the top of your head? That's because the feather on your head is also your health meter. When it turns all the way purple, you're out of health. These other feathers also give you health, but their primary use is for magic. As you progress, you'll need mana feathers to do magic. I see your current weapon is the club. Hmm, it's a little basic, but easy to use. Just press the action button to swing the club. Practice on these breakable jars. Look out, Tad! A Nerval was hiding in that jar. Use your club. It's gonna take a few hits, but I know you can do it. Wow! Look at the orangutan bend that banana tree! I wonder what would happen if you stood on the big leaf. You should try it, Tap. Awesome, Tack! Anytime you want to have the orangutan throw you somewhere, just stand near him and he'll pull down the tree. you'll have to use ropes. Remember though, you'll swing in the direction you're facing. So push the move stick left or right to line yourself up before you jump off. Now it's time to learn about rams. See if you can get past them. 